As the complexity of the marketplace grows, more companies are responding in real time to customer demands. Jim Tompkins, CEO of Tompkins International, and Greg Brady, CEO of One Network Enterprises, discuss the benefits of demand-driven operations. The new demand-driven strategy, made possible by new business processes and technology, is allowing companies in any industry to gain competitive advantage and cost savings. Let's get started. Today's consumer wants the product when they want it, where they want it, how they want it, and our job in the demand-driven supply chain is to provide that. And so if we look at um, demand-driven supply chain, it's the only operation strategy that gives us the ability to respond in short lead times to meet those requirements. And so what we find is as you grow in complexity and multi-channel, the requirement for demand-driven is, is more than ever before. So order fulfillment historically has been focused on a push environment where I plan my manufacturing, I allocate my, my inventory, I push it out through DRP processes, and then I respond to orders and I hope I got all my push environment right. In a demand driven system, order fulfillment changes. It's a pull system. The demand generates the pull orders, it generates the manufacturing production schedules, it generates the raw material pulls, it coordinates everybody around the actual consumption by the, the consumer. And so it's about velocity, it's about movement, and the impact is going to be huge because that changes the supply chain. We have to change transportation, we have to change our distribution centers, we have to change our fulfillment centers so that we can flow that product in those small batches. So lots more flow lots less inventory. I'm thinking I got a big blue link and a yellow link and a, a green link of this supply chain traveling over the flame of synthesis. And this flame is very hot and what it does it melts the blue link and the yellow link and the green link and what I have coming off the back side of the flame is a flow of molten metal and it's blue and yellow and green all mixed and it's flowing and it's flowing to satisfy the demand of the ultimate consumer. Now we're really talking supply chain. I'm thinking about it's a drum beat. And so the consumer's hitting the drum. And as the consumer hits the drum, not just the last link, but the whole chain is going boom, boom, boom. And there's responding, and you got the flow, and it's so cool. We're focusing on the consumer, and inventory melts. What's beautiful about becoming demand driven is that your systems actually become more elegant. In today's world, you have many different planning systems all focused on different objective functions. Lots of execution systems within your, your organization outsourced to your trading partners. In a demand driven world where you can connect directly to demand and flow it all the way back to the suppliers, the system actually becomes much easier to use. You can plan both the future as well as you can execute and re-execute all day long. So the value of this solution is to drive out significant inventory, and it's a, actually a simpler system to implement. Let's take, for example, a retailer. So a retailer is going to have some store selling, and you're going to have the store demand, the drumbeat coming from the store, and we're going to have to replenish that store from distribution centers. And then what we're going to have is we're going to have online customers, a drumbeat coming online, and that is going to require the fulfillment of those orders from fulfillment centers. So we have fulfillment centers for online customers and we have distribution centers to replenish the stores. What's going to need to happen then is we're going to need the capability to take those demands and combine them. And so what it happens is in the fulfillment center requirement we have something called a distributed order management system, a DOM, a DOM. And the DOM acts as the traffic cop as to which fulfillment centers or which forward fulfillment centers should handle each online order. And then the distribution centers decide which distribution centers should fulfill each store's demand. And so now we have the online drumbeat, we have the in-store drumbeat, we have the distributed order management system managing the fulfillment exercise. And then what we need is we need the orchestration behind the distribution centers in the DOM that's going to decide where do we put which inventory. Orchestration is going to say, let's put this inventory in distribution, let's put this inventory in these fulfillment centers, and that's going to allow us the greatest possibility of meeting that drumbeat. Behind the orchestration is what? It's the demand-driven supply chain. The value we've seen from these large implementations has been very dramatic. 
We've seen significant improvement in service level and consumer sell through at the store as high as 99.5 plus. We've taken inventory levels in these organizations down to less than 50% of the next competitors in both finished goods and raw materials. So the value has been translated into huge consumer sell through and significant operational cost reductions. This is, is so much easier and it takes a very complex environment and makes it simple. You sell one, you buy one, you make one, you, you buy the material to make it, and then you plant it. And then it flows in the supply chain. That's demand driven. It makes all the sense in the world. And it's what we really need to be doing.